Hey, okay, so I know this is not the cutest intro, but girl, I'm really sick of myself. I'm literally so sick and tired of myself. But if this is your first time watching me, I'm really sorry. I am not always this. That's a lie. I was gonna say ratchet and ghetto, but that's just the way I am. I don't give a damn. I still have the decor from the party. It just, I don't feel like going up. Am I 90 silly? Anyways. Oh my god, I'm so ugly. I'm gonna give you guys a complete houseplant tour on my entire apartment. I don't know how many plants I have. I don't. I don't know how many plants I have. Uh, I Just a thought in my head came like, whoever can like let me know how many I have, like the first person that comments, I will send you a plant. <laughs> like I will send you like a cutting or whatever you want in my collection. Cause like, except my tie. Cause I can't ship a tie. Like how am I supposed to ship a cutting like that? Like, anyways, I'm just that lazy y'all. I don't know how many plants I have, but I have a good amount. I used to have a lot more, but we, if you watch my videos, you know that I have a history of moving up. My life gets chaotic. My life is very messy and chaotic. And a lot of it's because of me. Like I wish I was, I'm not gonna, I'm, we're not gonna get to that. <laughs> anyways, let's just go on the house plant tour. Alrighty, planty friends. We're gonna start the planty haul. The video looks weird. Okay, that looks a lot, a lot better. I don't know why that happens. Like it just, I don't know. It's really, really weird. I feel like it's gonna rain again. It's extremely hot outside. But I guess we can start in the living room. So right over here we have this beautiful Drancina that I've had for a hot minute. I think I've had it for three years possibly. I think it's about to be three years. Yeah, I think since we moved in. So three years, this beautiful Drancina had a lot of ups and downs and it was actually two of them, but I killed the baby. <laughs> and then I got left with the mom or dad and um it's just this i mean it is a little bit slanted but you can kind of see that and then it's going up because of the saltic light and i'm really really proud of it because i was killing it for so long and we ended up repotting it so we have some limelight drancinas snake plants and we did have oh there's the aglonema you can see it but that's what's in the bottom things that i can like tolerate low light conditions even though this is not really low light you can get some actual grill lights as well as some light from outside and you can kind of see a lot of new leaves coming in so that's really exciting and we have this rubber tree that i got on clearance at walmart and there is another plant it's just at the very bottom and then we have this massive hope philodendron, if not a split philodendron. And I just love how big these leaves are. Like they're just so massive. Also really great for like conditions, but it will grow a lot more better as any other plants if you give it a lot more light. And I'm just obsessed with it. I do have a light in the back, I mean, a uh, mirror. And that's why I can reflect of the light from the grow lights. Um, I don't know, I would like to place it over here, like that, to like bounce light even more in the living room, but it's okay right there. And then we have two snake plants here at the bottom. These little beautiful snake plants. I really do love snake plants. You're gonna see a lot of them in this video. I am trying to collect all of them. <laughs> They're just super duper cool and I just love it. Look at those crazy air roots. Right over here, we have this table. We have this one, Manjula. Look at that. So pretty. Manjula bottles are just gorgeous, y'all. I always gotta like take a moment and just enjoy how stunning these leaves are. There's Mr. Valentino. Valentino. Hey. Ooh. His spot is like right there. See? That's Valentino's his favorite spot. We have this Candapsis Exotica. Not sure what this is, but it's not spreading. I know like there's like an iron kind of thing like that like can spread, but it's been there for super duper long. I think it's just damage. I did have the grill like pretty close. One of the, um, how do you say it? 
a day. <laughs> and it could be damaged, but that was a long time ago. Put this other leaf coming right there. And this is one of the new ones. It's one of my favorite ones. And it goes all the way down. <laughs> Look at that. Look at these monstrosis leaves. Scandepsis exotic yams, Halinga. It's just a really, really pretty plant. Leaves look very different and unique. Gorgeous. And then we have one of my oldest potos. This is my Marvel Queen potos. I thought it was a Snow Queen, but honestly, I think they're both the same thing. <laughs> because uh, a Snow Queen, it just has more white, while a Marvel Queen has more green. But I think it just depends on the light. Because I've had a Snow Queen placed it in a little light spot, and it just started looking like a Marvel Queen, and then vice versa. So I'll just say Snow Queen, because I am going to give it a lot of light. And it will start looking like one <laughs> pretty soon. I'm just so proud of this plant. It's in a very big planter that I got from the 99 cent store. They sell really good terracotta pots and ooh, planters. I just finished watering the plant, so that's why it's really like very firm. So a simple like and, like make that sound. I don't mind it and I've never had any problems with that. Like, it sounds like something really bad happened, but no, it's fine. It's a tough plant. <laughs> Except I noticed that um, potos do not like to be underwater for a long period of time. They start putting out lots of yellow leaves and they start looking very bald. Which is not really quite an aesthetic on a plant. That's a pretty leaf now, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> so pretty. We have a, I'm pretty sure it's called the Dark Lord Philodendron. Look at this baby. It's putting out some new leaves. I also got it on clearance at Walmart. I think it was for $15. So, love that. And then a Hoya Chelsea. It's in the same kind of planter as the Marble Queen Potos. And this Hoya has actually put out lots of new leaves, and I'm very proud of it, because Hoyas and I, we don't always have the best of luck. I, I know they love humidity, and I think that's why it's doing really, really good. And I know they love a lot of light, which it has a grow light. So I think that's why it's thriving. I'm just doing really, oh, that's my feet. And that's why it's doing really, really good. It's gorgeous. And then we have this one. I label my plants to plants that I don't know their names. This one is called, I don't know it's called an aglonema, but it's Emerald Beauty. It's a pretty common aglonema from the big box stores, but it's gorgeous. And I do love the leaves. Also really great for little like conditions or like for an office like kind of setting, like just a bunch of artificial lighting. It should do pretty good. It's pretty resilient, just like the Golden Potos, a classic. Here is a snake plant, which I might repot it, y'all, because I don't know. I bought it at a, honestly, I bought this at a flea market. Pretty cool. And I think I paid $8 for it or $15. And um, yeah, flea markets, I'm telling you. They have a lot more great plants outdoor plants and instead of plants, but you can get pretty lucky and find some really good house plants for a really, really cheap price. And then we have this other aglonema, which is gorgeous. I think it's called the aglonema ghost frost, but I know that one does not have this kind of irrigation. So it must be like a new one, like they must be like brothers or sisters. So I just put aglonema ghost frost, frosted or frost. But if y'all know exactly what this one's called, let me know, please, so I can update the tag and so we know what it is. I was doing research, but I just kept finding the other one that doesn't have this kind of stripes. It is pretty though, and I got it for clearance. Uh, it was for, they set up for $15.98, and I got it for $9. Here's my orchid. She's been blooming for <laughs> months, 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 months. 
And literally today, it dropped its first flower. <laughs> How sad. But I guess it's good so she can rest. And she is putting out a new leaf. And yes, she does have to get repotted very soon. You can kind of see all those crazy roots out. But look at this new leaf. And this is her second time blooming with me. Um, it has bloomed three times because when I bought it, it was, well, my boyfriend bought it for me as, as a gift. Um, as a, cause like I saw I don't like orchids and he got me an orchid cause he was like, I wanted to keep trying and I was like, okay. <laughs> cause I would never buy an orchid ever since, well before that. And this one gave me so much luck. It's all this leaf is studying getting, it's getting ready to retire. But it has been with me for super duper long, I think two years. And I've seen three flowers, like three sets of flowers. <sighs> Just so proud of her. I cannot wait for this little guy to grow and to repot it. Here is a new Marble Queen of Potos that I got three months ago. I love Potos and I've been seeing a lot of them. I'm doing my best not to buy all of them, like every time I see one, which I'm getting pretty good at, but I just can't control myself, they're great. And I do, not that I forget to water it, I do water it because I see it, like I walk a lot outside. And when I'm walking by, I see the plants. But I think it's very root bound because like, it dries out really, really fast. You can kind of see a yellow leaf. And that's what happens when you like, don't water it for a hot minute. Like three days or four days being dry. <laughs> so yeah, but I'll water it again. Here's my raven. She has put out lots of new leaves. There is a set. They put out these nice green stock of leaves, I guess you can say, and it's just beautiful. And then they slowly convert to this gorgeous shade of like black and green. Looks so cool. It's like, like like a, I don't know, it's like slime, like a ghost, like Ghostbusters. Gives kind of vibes. And then it fully converts to this beautiful black which is just gorgeous i remember when this plant was so expensive you guys and now you can find them anywhere <laughs> look there's more coming in really really proud of my plants you guys i'm really really proud of them okay and then over here look at the balcony y'all also there is a nest and i checked it do you see her head poking out i checked it and she has three eggs. I, I know you're not supposed to touch the eggs. But I didn't touch the eggs. I just checked the plant because I don't want it to be dry. Good thing it's a Hoya. It can handle dry conditions, but, um, or drought, right? But, <laughs> that's gonna be babies. So she does let me sit outside. She flies away, but she always comes back and I can just sit and we just chill. Um, so I could show you guys the plants outside, but I'm not gonna be able to touch anything on top because that's gonna freak her out. So we'll see. But this is the balcony. This is where I'm usually at like 24 seven. <laughs> like you can see a new leaf from the uh, fuzzy petitoph philodendron. Lemon amaranta, they put a nest right there, but they decided to move right there. And I just, I just decided to leave the nest because it's super duper cute, but it's bouncing back. Uh, it was a uh, lemon amaranta, as you can see. And I wasn't watering it because there was a tenant. <laughs> there was, the birds were there and I didn't want to bother them. And so I moved it down and I guess they got the hint. So they went up there. But lots of cool plants outside, even the wishless plants, which I'm so excited to show y'all. Right over here we have my Monstera Deliciosa. She just put out this new leaf. Look at that. <laughs> Some old new leaves as well, which are beautiful. Here is a red conjo philodendron. Such a cool plant. And then we have this aglonema. So there's a lot of cleaning I gotta do. And the pontitas. And I know somebody told me it's called the Red Lipstick Aglonema, and I searched it up, and yes, it looks like this one. But then on the Costa Farm website, they call it Siam Aurora Aglonema. I know plants can have multiple names, so there is that. But this Aglonema, I got it for clearance. 
at Lowe's. And that's a bit tight right there. I paid my dollars for it. And it's cool. I had one before. She got really, really big. I had it for like a year and it was massive. I think, no, I think like two years. But I left it at my grandma's. <laughs> but it's totally cool because like I, I love getting small plants as well. Like it's just fun like what making watching them grow and knowing that you did that what well, both of y'all did the plant and you so it's okay girl and then it was on clearance so like that's perfectly cool this is what valentina always looks at just the neighbors right valentina you check in and see what's going on <clears throat> Alrighty, so now we can go to the kitchen and this is my favorite spot. I love this spot a lot because this is where I'm always washing dishes and this is what I look at a lot. <laughs> and my grandma, when I did the party for my little brother, my grandma came over and she bought these flowers which they're starting to wilt. <laughs> but she grew them from her yard, you guys. And that was just so sweet. Ah, oh, they're just pretty. I like the base, <laughs> it's pretty. The red was my favorite, but it's already starting to retire. Look at this pink one. She said that she grew them from bulbs, and oh, do y'all see that's like pink in the middle? Pretty. So we have a Neon Potos over here. I got it from HEB, and it was for, I think, $14.89. And I couldn't say no to it because like it was just staked and it's beautiful and you know that I love many potos they're awesome. And then we have this Jessica Peace Lily, which is gorgeous. And this is a leaf whenever I watch this one. I just cannot stop looking at this gorgeous peace lily. And it came as a one plant. And you can see there is multiple. <laughs> of baby so i could divide it but i don't want to do that i want it to like get nice and bushy look at that guys gorgeous trying to get all them peace lilies and snake plants and aglonemas <laughs> and potos those are like my main tops that i'm always looking for Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But here we have a white butterfly syngonium that my boyfriend got me when I was sick to make me feel better. Bless his heart, I love him so much. Little baby, so cute. He got me another one, a little, another plant as well. And it's in the plant room, which I'll show you in a bit. Oh look, there's a root coming up. Good for 5.48. I'm gonna repot it in this pot that I got from Walmart pretty soon. The plants that I gotta like repot is stacking up you guys, but I need to save up money to get some good potty mix. I wanna make, make my own potty mix, but pretty soon. So we have another Aglonema right over here and it's a Costa Farm one. So you'll always see these at Lowe's and this one is called Aglonema Snow. Beautiful. Here is this beautiful Tritiscantii and I got it from HEB when I got this Neon Potos and Somebody helped me out on the um, plant name, so here it is. Muridani Lariformis Bright Star. I probably pronounced it correctly, but <laughs> that's what this one is. Tritis Cantias are really, really cool too, so I'm trying to get them as well. And then we have the Spring Cactus. Um, you can see all the new leaves coming in. When I bought it, it was blooming, and I got it from the Home Depot. I have another one that's been with me for years, like I think four years, and it hasn't even grown a lot. So I might need to repot it. And I was showing the plant room. Um, I think the reason why it hasn't grown a lot is because it probably doesn't like its soil, but it bloomed, so that was pretty cool. Here is a tri trial, trial, trial star stromanti. <laughs> you can see a new leaf coming in. Seems like she likes this spot. The back is always so pretty. It's this beautiful maroon. It's like purple, maroon, hot pink, gorgeous. Then we have this Victoria Birds Nest Ferns, which I would always kill because they're very thirsty plants. I'm talking about thirsty plants. I feel like I have some Birds Nest Ferns in the plant room that are really, really dry. They're probably dead right now, but 
Here is, what is that? Is that like a little baby? No. Oh, okay, I was like, is that a little baby? I got this for clearance. I've been seeing a lot of these on clearance. $9. And look at all of these new leaves coming in, you guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, when I saw it, it was like really pale. That's probably why they put it on clearance, but birds nest ferns, they're very communicative. Like they would tell you when they're thirsty. Um, when it's pale, it's time to water. And then right over here, we have another bird's nest fern, which I'm not sure what it's called. It looks like lettuce yarn, it feels like lettuce. So that's all I know. But I've had this girly for super duper long and I love her. So trying to collect them all, y'all. <laughs> Here is some lemon lamaranta cuttings from the, the plants that the birds were putting a nest on that is starting to bounce back the plant. But I what this before I decided to give up the plant to them, I got some cuttings from the mother plants and I was like, well, I need something. So I got these babies and they're honestly ready to get repotted. One of the cool things about Maranta um, cuttings and rooting in water is they have this really cool network, like the way it looks in the roots. A lot of roots get messy, like very like crazy, but this one looks a lot more uniform. So that's always cool to look at, but yeah, there's that. And that is the kitchen and the living room. This one, I honestly like, I might move it because it's just so ignored, but it's a lemon lime philodendron. Over here we have two golden potos. Kind of want that to like be an aesthetic and I want it to trail a little bit, which is starting to happen. And then right over here, we have a marble queen potos, which could honestly revert to the green version because it's in a very dark spot, but it just fits perfectly right there. We have a neon potos right over here and then a golden potos right over there. And then here we have this Diffenbachia called a camouflage. And I'm surprised that it's still alive. It is, it's getting dry. So I need to water it before I kill it. Cause that's, I think that's why I kill the Diffenbachias. I don't water them in time. And um, these plants like to stay moist. Here is a global green potos. Gorgianis, and then we have the chameleon ZZ in the back. So that's pretty fun. And that's what I have in my little corner. I'm gonna show you guys the plants of my boyfriend because he has some really, really cool plants. He just finished propagating these elbow cuttings, and um, he has, I think that's just, he keeps telling me that he really does like the elbow single name he likes the foliage so he has these babies over here look at that one that one's really really cool and look at this one he also propagates his own begonias so you'll see a few that he propagated look at that this is just fresh cuttings he just did it yesterday so they need time to you know develop their roots and then this insane begonia which we got it a uh, nursery called Green Gate, and we've done a lot of push shopping videos over there. If you haven't seen those videos, I highly suggest you to watch it. They just have so many cool plants that I've never seen before, and it's just great. I love it. And where's the name? There is a name. Egonia Maso Niana, $24.50. Here's another really cool begonia. He has a begonia obsession and it's really really good at caring for them this one is new when i got my wishless plants he got this one which oh my god it looks really really cool i just love the stems the leaves begonias are beautiful but i kill them so i applaud him for being really really good at it here is a strawberry uh barrigata strawberry begonia the original one that we see, which is also very good. We see it a lot of the big box stores, but this one is the same thing, just pink. So for those that like pink plants, and look, there's like a little baby. <laughs> it's like a spider plant. Here is another begonia. 
Godzilla Syngonia and some sort of Echeverria at the back. You are just a bunch of really cool Begonias and plants that he has propagated. Like this one he propagated, I'm pretty sure. And he doesn't buy leaves, so this one's from, from propagations too. It's just crazy. So that's Warfrance's collection. Alrighty, and all that's missing is balcony, master bedroom, and the plant room. And I'm gonna go in the plant room. I gotta close the window. I had to open it because it's Valentino's cat litter and it's stinky. Alright, so you're just gonna need to ignore the fish tank. But here is the planty room and all the plants. That one is water. <laughs> And that manjula. That manjula is always thirsty, like every single. I gotta water like twice a week, y'all. It's insane. Here is this one. It's called the Goldiei philodendra. It's one of its newest leaves. It's really, really cool. Here is a Platinum Miss Peace Lily. The entire plant is toxic for cats, but especially the flowers. And I have it up. I usually cut the flowers, but I kinda wanna admire it. As long as Valentino doesn't get on top, which he rarely ever does. Um, I put this on top because I was vacuuming, but he rarely ever gets on top in this table, like, ever. So he's pretty safe, but even then, I will cut it pretty soon. Here is his beautiful aglonema. It's called, I think it's called white stripe or white edge. It just has, like, this white line all around the leaf, which is pretty cool. And the stems are also white. It's like this, like, what do you call it, like, blue, kind of, like, fog looking thing. I, don't, I can't get rid of it. I keep cleaning the lens, but it's not getting rid of it. So um, here's a little snake plant as well that I just popped it in there. And pretty soon I'll repot it and then its own little terracotta pot. Here is this Gorgianis alocasia that we got at the Home Depot. And this one is from Proven Winners. And honestly, I don't even know if I like it here. Like I need to see it because I know this one likes to stay moist and it looks pretty dry, but $30. Obsessed with it. It looks like a Regal Shield Alocasia slash um, a Monstera. Beautiful. So one of its newest leaves. Ooh, what is that? Okay, girl. Dusty plant. Again, this is a realistic houseplant video. Houseplant tour video. <laughs> There's a ZZ at the very bottom. We have this variegated Tritoscantia, which is getting very leggy. We got this one at Corpus. And I will be chopping it up pretty soon to make it nice and bushy, but also making it, we're just gonna make another set of these. It's a really, really pretty Tritoscantia. Here we have this Milk Confetti Syngonium, which looks like crap. Absolute crap. I don't know why. I have no idea. I I think it's because it's staying dry for too long. And I don't think it likes to. Like, I keep forgetting to water it, even though I drown it with water. And then it dries up within, like, four days. So, I don't know what's up with this plant. I might take a cutting because I need to get some insurance on this one in case this one goes away. But... I have to, it looks like some sort of fungal, or it's just a dry leaf. Hold on. Usually, in the back. Okay. For a second, I thought I saw spider mites. I was like, usually spider mites don't mess with Syngonians. Okay, I might need to put it, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it. It could have something, so. Here is this massive Chinese Evergreen Silver Bay, or Aglonema. They're literally the same thing, Chinese Evergreens and Aglonemas. Um, it's currently bottom watering. You have this Neon Potos that was like right there, but it fell. So there's that. And then we have some goodies over here. We have some variegated Scandapsus that are propagated. And then here is my own little variegated Silver Begonia. The Scandapsus that my boyfriend got me, and I was sickly sick. 
my own little Godzilla singlet that my boyfriend propagated for me. And then these neon photos that he also got me from Walmart. So. And here is this variegated epipelium. I believe that I have. I, I had a six inch pot one, but I left it at my grandma's house. And I wanted to take a cutting because she liked it and I didn't want to take it away from her. But it will go pretty fast. And then over here we have, so I don't know if you can tell the difference. So this one is doesn't have any gold, so it's called Chinese Evergreen Silver Bay. And then over here, this one's kind of like yellowish and has flowers. It's called Chinese Evergreen Golden Bay, I think so. But it's pretty. So we have a Brazil at the very top, another Brazil. We have a Jesena Potos, which does not look like it at all, but it is. And this is one of its vines. That's a Jesena. <laughs> and some that are reverting back. But there's that. And then we have my Monjula. And then we have another one of those, Chinese Evergreen Golden Bay. Then we have a snake plant. Rabbit's foot fern. And then, and this little, ooh, I gotta come over here and start doing some stuff. I've been so busy in the living room and the balcony that I've kind of neglected this shelf for like a week. So you're gonna see some thirsty plants or some that are kind of far gone. But this is a really cute snake plant. Love the stripes. And then we have this starlight syngonium, which it's very fussy with watering, so I'm surprised it's still happy. Gotta water it like today, if not, it might just fuss tomorrow. And then we have this guy, which is completely dry. Chinese money plants. Again, realistic, y'all, don't judge me. <laughs> It happens to the best of us. Look at this beautiful Jacinta vine and these leaves. Gorgeous. Some snake plants that are propagated. A long time ago, they just look so boring. Fernwood Sansevieria. Neon Potos at different cuttings. Variegated Anthurium, which, wow. This one is giving. Look at that. Look at that leaf. <laughs> Such a gorgeous plant. I know people can um, self or produce their own seeds with anthuriums when they flower, so I would love to do that with this one. Make a variegated anthurium. Wouldn't that be super duper cool? Here's a variegated oof, range of pepperonia that I got from Etsy. You don't see these a lot. It's not a very hot plant, but honestly, I want to put this one outside. It is thirsty. I just gotta water it. Oh my god, I almost fell. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I want to place it outside is because I want it to get big and I want it to do really, really good. And of course, since it's outside, I'll be staring at it a lot more so I know when it's thirsty. Gorgeous. I also had a cutting of this one. I actually have two. It's on my grandma's. I probably, I think she saw them already because I haven't seen it. So I don't know, it's probably gone already, but. I struggled to propagate pepperonias. So I was very happy when I saw that, but it's okay. Hopefully it gets pretty big and I can chop it again. Um, we have a string of dolphins that we got from Corpus. Getting kind of crazy. Variegated aloe vera. And then we have a Silver Hero Scandapsis. We have this radiator plant or Peperonium. And then we have this insane Lemon Lime Philodendron, which it wants to go up. <laughs> and then this guy, which is like a variegated Philodendron, something like that, but it's doing a lot of sap. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but I know that's not good because it's gonna attract pests. So, that needs to be taken care of pretty soon. 
We have a Hoya. Oh, look at that. I don't know if those are Melly's or from the new leaf. <sighs> Gotta get to work in this little section. I just, I've been obsessed with the balcony. You guys are gonna see the balcony. I'm like so obsessed there and been neglecting the plant room for a hot minute. Here's a pinata <laughs> for my mom's party that I took home. Adi Sonia. Here is my little version of violin, green. No, I don't even know. Violin for the dandron. And then we have a Chinese, a variegated Chinese money plant, which makes me sad that it's very at the back. And I see a little baby, and I wanted to put some more babies because, like, this is a really cool plant. Golden potas that we propagated. Network Kaleti is starting to put out lots of new straws. Look at all those leaves coming in. It's exciting. Then we have a snake plant at the back that I also got from Corpus. Paid a lot of money for that. <laughs> and then we have my variegated Maranta. She is getting big. Very, very proud of her. Uh -oh. Need to check that. Sometimes when you look like a freckles are gonna leave, it could be spider mites. I don't see no little dots in the back. Usually you need like a little microscope to check, but I'll rinse it off just in case. And then we have this fun guy. It's a philodendron. It's pretty cool. And I think it's getting too much light. <laughs> Look at that. Might put it outside too. I'm sorry, I just love putting my plants outside. They've been doing super duper good. Gorgeous. And then we have a wall fence of Severia, variegated baby bunny bellies, variegated from propagations. Here is a plant that I was telling y'all. Had it for four years, bloomed for me twice, and I think it's time to give it some better soil. This was a golden Zanadu, very far gone. Uh, this Luna Marantz of the Right Cuttings is just very, very thirsty. It was about a bloom. Variegated Welfare Sativaria. You have a different one of these. I think it's called a horse head philodendron. Snake plant. Uh, CZ Compact, I think so. And then Lemonite Philodendron. Welfare Sativaria. Cactus. Beautiful snake plant. Some sort of like bromeliad or something like that that my mom gave me. It bloomed and now it has babies, which is pretty cool. Moonshine Sensivaria as Hoya. Uh, Tredescantiae Nanook. Some propagations that I'm looking after for my boyfriend. Halo Mykins that I got from Etsy, which I literally hate this plant. It doesn't grow really nicely. And then more snake plants. <laughs> And then another snake plant, some sort of like a Chaveria, I think so. More Burgundian from the boyfriends. My lemon meringue. Look at that. Potos. And some more goodies in here. Here is a Night Owl Santaveria, Starfish Santaveria, Barragatus Candapsis. And then my Peacock Calathea, which I love. And then here's another baby bunny bellies propagation that I just put in there. Like, I put a little cutting. It was literally like this, just like three leaves, and now it has that. <laughs> so, lots of things to do in here. Just like, some watering, rinsing some plants, and cleaning, and that should be basically it. I should be able to get it done by tonight. Here is a silver dragon alocasia from Costa Farm or scale, something like that. Which was doing something funny. Do you see that? It could be damaged. Right? It's making these little freckles. I don't know, and it has babies. Look at these little babies. Babies 
everywhere. <laughs> so cute. And then here is this massive girl. That is basically it. And the planty room. Uh, needs a lot of stuff done. Where Valentino? <clears throat> okay, so let's go on the balcony. Gonna do my best not to disturb the mama. We have a snake plant here. Another fun snake plant that I got from Corpus. A fiddle leaf that I got for clearance. This orchid that I just placed outside. A tricolor red spot syngonium. And then one of my favorites, Monstera Peru. Just give us this new leaf. Last, it's putting a new leaf like every single week, ever since it got warm. So, very, very excited about this one. And then we have my variegated Brilliant Marks Philodendron. This beautiful new ficus that I got. This Hoya, one of its newest leaves. Uh, variegated ginger or sparrow ginger. It's just so pretty, you guys. Then we have my amaryllis, which just finished blooming. My blue cactus. Uh, Singolium that's currently bottom watering because it was super duper thirsty. Black dragons and Tavaria. The Maranta that I was telling y'all. <laughs> the straw coming out to the nest. And then this is my variegated green heartleaf philodendron. And then we have my Hoya Critici, sorry. A Aglonema, Mostera Saltipicana, Variegated Wealth and Centiveria, my Thai Constellation. These new plants, which I don't know their names yet, but I'll find them pretty soon. I think somebody said like they're lilies or something like that. I just love the foliage. And then this guy. This looks really, really weird. I don't think it likes the light, so I pushed a little bit back. This was a new leaf, but got a little bit burnt. It's putting another one, so I hope it doesn't get burnt. And then, look at this gold, golden potos leaf. We have this fern, it's called Corona. This philodendron is called Plomaine. Oh no, my bad. Oh, my bad. That is not what it's called. It's called Fuzzy Pedital Philodendron. I'm sorry. It kind of looks like it, no? No? Okay. But <laughs> Fuzzy Pedital. See right there. It's pretty cool. And then we have this begonia. It's about a balloon. Look at that. It's a little bit loud. Here is an anthurium. Maybe if they both oh look, there's another one coming up. Maybe if they both flower, we can cross pollinate these two. <laughs> then we have a red stem anthurium. It's putting out a new leaf. Look at that. We have some golden potos on top going on. Bonnie spider plants are curly spider plant, which looks pretty thirsty now. 
Baltic Blue, also thirsty, but they gotta take turns because I have my Singuinian bottom watering. And then this one was my baby bunny's, oof, baby bunny's belly variegated, which got too close to the sun. You can see how it's a little bit burnt, but look at those flowers. You have Marble Queen Potos. I have this really, really pretty goldfish plant. I love the back of the leaves. I think it's gonna flower, you think so? If I can like get a good shot. <laughs> I don't know. I just love the back. I'm like sitting and I see this. Gorgeous. And then we have my Monjula. A lot of a lot of you guys favorites. Had it for like I think four years already and I have chopped it a lot. But this year I'm gonna let her rest and just grow, 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 grow. You have a Brazil, the very corner, my Cebu Blue. And then here is this Hoya snow caps, which the bird is right there. I think she's hiding. And we have a Hoya compacta, which is starting to get thirsty. We have this funky lucky plant, I'm not sure what it's called, but I love it. Very good strength of hearts. Suppose it's more like cinnamon. The classic one did, the non variegated one. I think it was variegated though. Starting to flower. How exciting. So cute, the little hearts. And a green heart leaf, philodendron, right there. And then I think it's called my Silver Stripe Philodendron. It's beautiful. And that's basically oh we I forgot this is Tredis in the back. <laughs> but this be, oh there's an asparagus one too, which I might just give it away because I'm tired of it. <clears throat> Getting a bit tired of that asparagus phone. But those are all the plants that I have in the balcony. And I just love to sit in this chair. Look at the plants. Sometimes when the workers go home already, all you hear is the birds. You can kind of hear them. Also this <laughs> long air roots from my tie. And I just love to chill here. And I think what's next is going to be the bedroom. And that's basically all the plants from the apartment. So I'm gonna lean back. I kind of like this perspective. That one is kind of cute. I can barely see her. Okay. I hope I took some good ones. <laughs> I'm gonna cry if I don't. Here's another one just in case. Taking pictures. You leaves from the Cebu Blue. Okay. So I'm doing laundry. Ignore the mess on the bed. Okay. I had to finish this video because I was like, is it the laundry or the video? 
but I keep pushing the video to the side. So I'm just gonna get it done. This is the bedroom, it's kind of small. I have this peace lily, domino peace lily. I love it. And it came from a four inch pop. And it's under this, this basket, which is a cash flow I got it from Walmart. It needs to get repotted <laughs> pretty soon. But I love it. I'm obsessed with that. And this is the view from the bedroom, by the way. We can see the balcony. I drink my coffee and I can see Miss Homegirl right there. So it's kind of dark, but you can see the snake plants and very ZZ because those can handle all the conditions. And they've just been chilling right in there. So it's basically that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's new video. the plantas the plantitas and that is it i hope you guys enjoyed to this new brand new video if you did give it a big thumbs up to let me know but these are all the plants that i have in the apartment i don't want to buy too many i would love to but even though there's two things i gotta save money and then i gotta consider that we're gonna be moving out pretty soon like in three or four months but that's enough to do damage that's enough to like stack up in plants so i'm just trying not to buy any plants i mean if i do then i get it but it has to be cheap it has to be a plant that i don't see that often you know um because we don't want to like go to a place see a plant that we like that we're not going to see that often we just got lucky and we found it you don't want to let them on pass by so if you have the money just get it so that's what i do i get it but plants that i'm like oh like for example if i see a hoya compacta at lowe's i'm gonna leave it because we know that they sell them at Lowe's, but like a variegated Hoya Compacta, that one's going to get snatched because we, I have never seen one in person. I've seen one one time and I didn't got it because my boyfriend was like, no, David, like you we were talked about saving money. And I was like, I guess you're right. And then that was the last time I've ever seen it. So ever since then, my boyfriend's like, if you see a plant that you know you're never going to see again, just get it. And I'm like, I know, girl, like I got to save my money, my coins. But at the same time, like if I see a plant that I like, and I don't see it somewhere else, I'm gonna snatch it. <laughs> so that is on that, but, because I see so many amazing plants, you guys, peace lilies and stuff like that, and I'm like, no, <laughs> we don't wanna have too many plants, but that's my little rant. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.